In this video, I'll show you how to do a Dutch pour. Hi, my name is Susan King. Welcome to my channel. Please join me and watch how I did this Dutch pour using Rick's Mix paints. Welcome back. I'll show you uh, the colors I'm using. This one is Cherry Blossom Red. These are all Rick's Mix, Rick's Mix paints. That's Cherry Blossom Red. This one is Lapis Blue. And I have Daffodil Yellow. I'm going to add a little bit of black. It's coal black. Not much of that. And this is alabaster white. I'm going to be using this for my base coat and also for the white I put on top. The canvas I'm using today is a 9 by 12. So let's begin. Okay I'll begin by applying my base coat and this is Alabaster White Rick's Fix. Just spreading it around. Looks like I need to add more. These are very f uh, thin paints, very fluid. It moves very easy on the canvas. Okay, I think it's ready. Okay, so I'm going to use white to blow over top of the colors, so I will start with adding the yellow, the daffodil yellow. Puddle it there. Very, very thin. Oops, a lot on the one side by accident. Okay. I was going to add a little bit of black. Um, just in a couple of spots. Oh, that blue was called Lapis Blue. And the red. 
did was cherry blossom red. I don't know if I should be doing this or not, but I'm just going to put just a tiny bit of black. Oops, and it's called coal black. Now, I'm going to add my white. I'm going to put some in the middle. It's already falling over the edges. It's pretty cool already. I'm just going to try and blow out the edges a little bit. <clears throat> now I can move to sorry. Lots of cell cells coming up already. I'm just going to lightly torch this to see what would happen. Wow, it's really pretty. Really nice colors. So now I have to make sure I have it on a flat level. Just going to lift it up so you can see closely. Very cool. A lot of nice things going on in here. Nice. Alrighty. So I am going to move that to a level spot, let it dry, Oops. then show you at the end how it dried.
See you in a bit. Hi, so I'm back and unfortunately I don't have dry results for this painting. Um, this is a pic I, picture I took uh, right after I finished it, but it started to um, change uh, very quickly. This picture was taken uh, only a few minutes later and this picture was taken about a half an hour later. This picture was taken about an hour later. Um, and you can see how much it changed from the original picture. So I decided to scrape it. I didn't like it. I think what might have happened is I added too much paint to the canvas. I know it was on a level surface, so that wasn't the issue. I'm thinking it was too much paint on the canvas. So I will try it again with adding less paint and hopefully it will work out. If you uh, would like to watch another video of mine, they should be popping up on the screen right now. So I hope you have a wonderful day and see you in the next video. Bye for now.